Welcome to Mariza. Have you ever seen weird looking pipes like these? Why do they have loops like that? What's the reason for those loops? Or do they serve any purpose at all? Are they there for aesthetic reasons? Maybe the architect or whoever designed those installations think they were beautiful. Or maybe the contractor who built them just made a mistake. A lot of people probably don't know the answer to these questions. The good news is we will answer these questions in this video. Yes, in this video we will talk about those loops, what they are and why they are there. Such loops may seem weird to many, but they are actually very common in refineries and pipelines. Piping designers don't put them there simply for aesthetic reasons, neither are they a product of contractor's error. They are called expansion loops and they actually serve a purpose. We know from science that things expand and contract with changes in temperature. They expand when heated and contract when cooled down. The change in length is calculated using the formula alpha times delta T times L, where alpha is the expansion coefficient, delta T is the change in temperature, and L is the length of material. For example, mild steel has an expansion coefficient of 0 0.00065 per 100 degree Fahrenheit. If you heat a 500 feet long pipe from a 70 degree Fahrenheit ambient temperature to a 370 degree Fahrenheit design temperature, it will increase in length by 11.7 inches. That is assuming their ends are free to move. Now, if you restrain axial movement at both ends of the pipe, the pipe will experience a change in stress. The change in stress is equal to E times alpha times delta T, where E is the modulus of the elasticity, alpha is the expansion coefficient, and delta T is the change in temperature. The change in stress for a mild steel pipe when heated from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to 370 degrees Fahrenheit is 56.55 KSI as shown in this calculation. Note that 56.55 KSI is too high for an ordinary steel pipe. A carbon steel pipe has a yield strength of only 35 KSI. As you can see, restraining the pipe while it is subjected to changing temperatures can put it in its fittings and stress levels that are well beyond what it can take. This could result in a catastrophic failure. It also puts a tremendous amount of force or anchor load on restraining supports which would have to be designed by structural engineers. Too much load could require large amounts of steel and concrete to make the structural supports work. One way of addressing this problem is by installing expansion loops. Expansion loops increase the piping system's flexibility. They allow the pipe to deflect within the loops and thus relieve stress. They also reduce the amount of anchor forces that the supporting structure would have to resist. The longer the loop leg, the more flexible and less stressed the system becomes. In the case of pipes with one unrestrained end, expansion loops can reduce the amount of displacement at the sliding end. If the pipe is sitting on a shoe, minimizing the displacement would shorten the required length of the shoe. Are there other ways such deflection and stress problems can be addressed? Yes, of course there are other ways. Other methods include adding axial joints or bellows to the piping system. These methods, however, are late preferred compared to expansion loops because they are more vulnerable to mechanical failure. The disadvantage of installing expansion loops is that they take up a considerable amount of space. In cases where it is not possible to install expansion loops due to space constraints, adding axial joints or bellows can help. Now, you know what those weird looking loops in the pipes are for. The next time you walk with your friends by one of those loops, try asking them what they are for. You can then be the expert and explain to them what they are and why they need to be there. We have come to the end of our presentation. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment below. If this is your first time to visit this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe now and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever we upload new videos. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye!